If you're new to ChatGPT or AI in general and don't really understand prompting, I'm going to give you the easiest hack to follow, which is going to give you the best output you could ever imagine from AI. And it's super simple. Now, if you want to learn more about AI, how to use AI properly, how to systematically delegate it all out, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and let's go ahead and jump in. Now, say you want to do something like create a lead magnet for buyers in your area. This is something that ChatGPT AI can do ridiculously well, but unless we prompt it properly, we're going to get a bit of a wishy-washy experience that we're going to have to go back and forth and back and forth with to see if we can get something out of it. And chances are, if you do that, you're going to get something decent, but why not make sure that we get something phenomenal from this technology? But where do you start? If you don't know what to do or how to prompt, you might just come in here and say, I want you to create a uh, lead magnet for buyers in Denver and then hit enter <laughs> and then it'll come up. Now, depending on what it knows about you, um, how you think, the history it has with you, it might come up with some decent things, right? Ultimate Denver Neighborhood Match Guide, uh, First Time Buyer Game Plan, Denver Edition, Denver Buyer Intel Report, right? These are okay. Um, but you can see they're just like little small things. We could get ChatGPT to expand on it and everything else. So how can we beef this up? How can we make sure that we give it the best input possible from the start so we can just get one response and we're good to go? So here's what we do. I want you to create a high output, if I could spell properly, and high level prompt to enter into chat GPT to build me out a killer lead magnet for uh, Denver home buyers. And then I'll do one more thing. Please ask me any qualifying questions you have before writing the prompt. And then we hit enter. So it knows what we're looking for here. We're not looking for the lead magnet specifically. We're looking for the prompt. Now, if you don't ask it for qualifying questions, it might give you something really, really good. It probably will, to be honest. I just like to go a little more in depth, especially if I'm creating something that's customer facing. If, if people are gonna see it and know it comes from you, know it comes from me, I want this to be really, really dialed in. Now, I'll give you one more tip here. You see it's gonna ask us, well, we've got like seven questions here. I like to say this, ask me one question at a time. You can also see I don't spell properly. It knows what I'm saying. But it's going to ask me one question at a time. So let's just go through these real quick. What's the primary goal of this lead magnet? Let's say uh, email list, right? We want to build the email list. Cool. Who exactly is the ideal buyer avatar you are doing this for? Now you should know your perfect avatar. Let's just say Denver home buyers who are young families with kids moving from California. So I go pretty in depth with who it is. You can go as, as in depth as humanly possible with your target avatar. What's your unique angle of value proposition that makes you different and more appealing to this audience? We work with relocation buyers all the time and have a complete blueprint, whatever. Next question. What format do you want the lead magnet to be in? Uh, I want it to be a PDF. Cool, cool, cool. Do you already have a follow-up system or funnel this lead magnet will plug into? Let's say no, right? We haven't built that out. We don't know what we need here. Sixth question, what platform do you use to deliver the lead magnet and collect emails? So this is where for something like this, you know, you can build it on whatever you want. I use Go High Level, so I'll put it in there. And then last question, are there any specific topics or pain points you know resonate well with this audience? Uh, stress caused from moving and relocating with kids, schools, etc. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So now remember, it's not giving us the lead magnet, it's giving us the prompt. So look at this prompt here. Let's just go through it real quick. You're a world-class real estate marketer and relocation expert. I want you to create a high converting PDF lead magnet designed to attract young families with kids who are relocating from California to Denver. The primary goal of this lead magnet is to build my email list. I will be delivering it through Go High Level as a PDF. 
You must craft, it, craft this lead magnet with empathy, authority, and deep insight into unique challenges faced by relocating families. The theme should be built around a complete relocation bleep, blueprint for moving to Denver with a heavy focus on reducing stress of moving with kids, finding the right schools, choosing the best family-friendly neighborhoods, and transitioning smoothly from California to Colorado life. Lead uh, magnet format, a beautifully designed value-packed PDF guide titled something like this. Please include this, 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 this. And that's the prompt. Amazing, right? Gives it the tone as well. Please write it a full lead magnet, not just the content. And we go from there. So all we would do here is just copy that prompt. And we open a new chat, paste the prompt in there, boom, and we're done. And it's as simple as that. You don't need to know prompt engineering. You don't need to figure out everything about AI and how to do it all properly. AI can teach you what to do and what to say. And this is just one example. I use this kind of thing all the time because I know how valuable prompt engineering is, but a lot of the time, uh, I sometimes maybe can't think of what to say or what I need in there, or just maybe I've just having a brain fart and can't um, get the words out of my head that I need. I'll just put the idea in, get it to help me build the exact prompt, and then I know when I put the prompt in, I'll get one shot and it's done. So check this out. It's built this lead magnet out. Boom, the six step, uh, let's see. Look at this, okay, here we go. Title, welcome to your next chapter. There's a little blurb there. The six step relocation roadmap is putting this all together. It's got places in Denver, different neighborhoods. Understanding the school landscape, here's what it looks like, the different kind of schools here. Lifestyle shifts, right? What we're looking for, what you're thinking about. Four seasons, yes, there's a bunch of snow here. So there's a ton of amazing stuff here. And then the next step from this, obviously it's a lead magnet, we're not gonna go into it. But you could take this out, build it in Gamma or Canva or whatever you want to do with this. But I just want you to see the power of precision prompting, really doing this properly. This prompt that it did for us, it was that would have been really hard for me just to write out and put together. It's a long one, right? I would have probably missed some details, maybe missed some ways that it would have talked to, to spit things out the way I wanted it, different things like that. ChatGPT took my idea, asked me questions, then gave me the perfect prompt to then prompt it to build this out in one shot. And I know it's done, it's dialed in, it's ready to go and I'm good. Now, think about this. It asked us another question, right? Uh, here's your complete PDF lead magnet, blah, blah, blah. Now I can help you format this into a beautiful scalable PDF, add your branding photos and CTA link, create a go high level delivery automation. I'm gonna say, create the automation. And now it's gonna take it a step further because it knows from the prompt that I use go high level and I want it all done in there. So it's gonna build me out. Here's the funnel landing page to get it on. Here's the workflows that you need to build in there. Here's the triggers. Here's the tags you should use. Here are the emails that you send out and everything in between. So you can take an idea that's in your head and if you don't know how to get ChatGPT to bring it to life, ask it how to prompt. It will ask you some questions and then Bob's your uncle, you're off to the races. A lot of people teaching AI want you to think that there's big secrets involved and there's things that we know that you don't know and only I can tell you how to do it. But the technology itself is the best teacher. So get into ChatGPT, ask it questions, ask it to build you the perfect prompt for all the different things you're trying to do and you'll see the outputs that you get from it are drastically different than what you've done before. Now, if you like this kind of stuff, if you like AI, I've got tons of videos coming out, all different platforms, all different tools that I use specifically for my real estate business, how I operate in there with leverage, delegation, and all these kinds of things. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done before, and I'll be back. See you soon.